Hey yo, what's up, everybody? Holmes here, and we're back with some more Bloodborne Arcane build run. And yeah, welcome back. Today we're gonna be taking on Vicar Amelia, and I have my setup kind of rearranged here. So we got oil urn, Molotov, fire paper, and numbing mist. So we're gonna Molotov. Well, I'm gonna oil urn because she's gonna scream right as the fight starts, and then Molotov spam until we're finished with this. And by that time, if we don't miss, it should drop her HP around 50% and then we'll finish her off with the uh, uh, fire paper and if she attempts to heal we'll go with numbing mist so that is the plan and we're also using saw spear so we can uh, apply the fire paper so here we go let's see how this works <laughs> just walk over here cutscene will trigger That face is so creepy. He's gonna scream. Oil urn. Molotov. He's gonna jump. Okay. You can take a few shots in on her when she does that. And Molotov. Uh oh. Took some damage there. Oh shit. No. I didn't think I was gonna down her that fast. That usually didn't happen. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> why is she just standing there? That's one. Because I managed to down. Watch out for this. You see her looking like she's praying. And then like inching forward a little bit more. That's actually an AoE attack, so right, fire paper. Ready. Try to kinda of get around if you can. You don't get stuck. Try to get behind if you can. Damage to limb. She's gonna attempt to heal soon, I think. Trying to just like bait her. If she runs away, most likely gonna heal. That's a heal right here. Just toss it, nothing missing, and you can stop that right away. Alright, we're down there again. This is what was supposed to happen earlier. Oosh! Yeah. You can also hear it if you're playing with the volume on. But since I'm playing without volume, <laughs> I can't really hear the part where they go down. Oh, that's a grab. Watch out for that. I don't like the situation right here. Yeah, she's in the corner. Oh, okay. Are you getting me? Oh, heal? No, no, no. We don't do that here. Well, I mean, I do. Not for bosses, please. <laughs> Only humans or hunters, please. Thank you. And that's it get the gold pendant you can actually use the gold pendant kind of like how we use the the red brooch use it and then you can get a a blood gem and also like lap
Master Willem, I've come to bid you farewell. Oh, I know, I know. You think now to betray me. No, but you will never listen. I tell you, I will not forget our adage. We are born of the blood, made men by the blood, undone by the blood. Our eyes are yet to open. Fear the old blood. I must take my leave. It is now officially nightfall. So let's go ahead and head back to the hunter stream real quick. Do a little bit of repairing, um, leveling. And we also need uh, the DLC item right here. So once you beat Amelia, you come back, you'll get this. The Eye of the Blood Drunk Hunter. So you need this specific item in order to get into the DLC area. And I think on the PS5 version it comes with the entire set I'm not exactly sure because I already bought the uh, DLC when it first came out so correct me if I'm wrong <laughs> but yeah I mean it would make sense if it's there because I think it's like one of the greatest hit edition it should come with everything but I don't know like I said I'm not 100% like sure so we got that um, Repair weapon. Yeah, yeah. So we repair these two. We don't. I don't really care about the saw cleaver right now because saw spear pretty much replaced them. So this will be good for now. Um, and then we're gonna main the tenitrous. And let's do a little bit of leveling. Welcome home. What is it you... Very well, let me... Alright, I was gonna get some more health. <laughs> just... Just in case. You know. Cause I don't wanna get like, done in with it, just few shots. Uh, what? give her a small hair ornament. What is this? I... I... Can't remember. Not a thing, only... I feel. A yearning, something I never felt before. What's happening to me? <gasps> Tell me, Hunter. <sighs> Tearstone. Can you use this to make it a blood gem as well? Where's the blood gem? <laughs> Here it is. HP continues to recover for this. And then attacks versus beasts is up. This is from uh, Amelia. And then we got these throughout the mission. Or not the mission, the level. So you can add this into your weapons. But I'm not going to mess with it too much for now. Uh, let's go ahead and go back to Central Cathedral. Somebody's spamming me on the phone. <laughs> Let's put that on the side. Shouldn't have left it on the table. I'm pretty sure you got caught in the recording. Maybe. Hopefully not. Alright, and this is the lady we rescued when we were um, clearing out the uh, central cathedral. She was across the other guy that was skept uh, skeptical about coming over here. But yeah. That other dude, you can only rescue him, like I said in the previous episode, um, if you had unlocked your Sefka's clinic, which is back at where we started the game. So, pretty much, if you really wanted to, oh shit, I already, I'm already here. 
uh, you gotta go back to Central Yarnum and then you just re retrace your step back to the um, clinic where you woke up at. So that's what that is about. But anyways, let's do the DLC. So since we have the item, come over here to this hand. Oh, we can kind of see it. What the heck? Cursed the fiends, their children too. And their children forever true. Surprised people will be messaging me at 5 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> Hunter's nightmare. Anyways. Light the lamp. So now we have full access to the DLC. Shit's locked. And this may look very familiar. I think this might be like the past cathedral ward. Or it's maybe just an alternate universe overall, I don't really know. Yep. It looks very it looks like if you guys play Dark Souls 3, like Kiln of the First Flame where like all this stuff is all mushed together. It looks like that right here. And the clouds even look weird. There's like some sort of green to it. Oh, what the fuck. Alright. <laughs> I don't really know the lore behind it, I'm pretty sure. Some of you experts out there will educate me, but... Yeah, that's gonna be wrap. Uh, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this episode. I know it's kind of a short episode, but in the next episode... It's probably going to be a lot longer. Maybe 30 minutes. Maybe longer. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if I get wrecked or not. Anyways, thank you all so very much for watching. And um, yeah, if you found this video to be entertaining or helpful or enjoyable, then hey, stay tuned for the next one. But until then, I'll catch y'all later. Ohms. Oops.